Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you some uh, basic model testing using single builder uh, blocks. So, I will show you how you can do some uh, the testing of any of the Simlink model, some basic testing by using Simlink builder block. So, let's start. First, we will uh, quickly make a simple Simlink model, a plan model, and then we will create a respective single uh, builder block for that. So let me create a simulating model first. Okay, I do a current save. I'll save it like a model testing signal builder. You can give any name of course. Yeah. So once this is created, so let's start. So Let's 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 take an equation which we first uh, will treat it as a, our plan model. I I'll just take a very simple model. I'll take say for example, uh, or my output y equal to uh, two into u. U is my first input plus uh, three into v is my second input plus uh, one. Yeah. Let me have simple uh, example. This is my equation, which we will. Uh, uh, which we will model right now and then we will use the signal builder block to test it. So let's start. So uh, to make this model, it's, it's a simple model. I need uh, two input, which is one is u and one is v. And uh, and one summation, so I will start with first add block. And add block, I will need in fact uh, plus 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 three addition because there are three elements. And the output of this add block should be my uh, I will take it in the display for time being as a sync. Okay, and I will create um, uh, a gain block of two, and this gain will be nothing but two, and then I will create another gain block for the second input. This will be nothing but three, and for the third one, probably I can create a constant block. Constant block and the value of constant I will leave it as one because uh, one is our the third element. Okay, so I'll quickly make it in a subsystem, a simple subsystem I'll create. And so if you can see, it automatically took the inputs. It automatically connected those inputs here. So our plan model of this equation is ready over here. We can name it if you want. Show block name and we can. Model. Yeah. So now we have to test this. Uh, before we test, let, let me quickly check whether this is. I will just put a constant block. I'll give first input value as probably say 4 and then I'll just copy paste this one more time and change this value to say for example second input as value as 2. So I'll just connect this to inputs of this uh, my plan model and and I'll run to see what is my output. So 4 into 2, 8, 8 and 3 into 2, 6, 6 plus 8 is 14 plus 1, 15. So 15 is my output and that's what I'm getting here. So now uh, first part of our uh, this experiment is done. So let's start with the signal builder block now. So I'll quickly put a signal builder block and this in this signal builder uh, we will need two inputs. Uh, and one for the output uh, signal. So we'll basically need uh, three signals uh, over here. So I will try to keep it simple. Uh, this uh, the construction the signal builder block. So let's uh, consider our signal one as uh, our first input. So I'll add one more signal, which will be. Uh, you can use these uh, uh, shortcuts to uh, add signals. And the third, so I will just take pulse uh, signal for my signal one and signal two. So that's why I use this one. But for the third one, since I need a bit more um, uh, different signal, so I will uh, not add a uh, this one, but I will add, uh, I will not add a pulse one, but I will add probably a uh, square and amplitude. I can leave it one, but frequency probably I can uh, reduce to one, probably 0.5. Uh, yeah, that should be fine, I guess. Later on, also, we can change these things. I think yeah, this is fine for me. Duty cycle 50s, yeah. 
okay so i will not go into the details of this signals i i, I hope you understand so first signal is u so i'll just rename it i'm not sure if i can rename it directly from here or uh, i'm not sure where the, uh, okay rename is option is here so i'll uh, no, this is asking to repeat uh, signal rename option is here okay so i name it as my u and signal 2 renaming is again option is here so this i will rename it as b and the third signal will be my output which i will rename it to y you can just ignore this part if you uh, just quickly want to test it but uh, it's sometimes good to have names as per your need okay so once we have names so let's first uh, give some values to my input so this is my first input so I think I will keep the input value to probably 2 and so I will start this value 2 at yeah at this point so my y so yeah be careful uh, you should always see at uh, here that is precisely 2 and not is like 2.9 or something because when you manually try to push this uh, signals it can sometimes be some different values here. The same thing we'll do for this one. So it's again 1.92 and we'll put 2 here. So this is ending at 6 and its value is 2 from there to there. And again we'll do the same thing for here. So probably first let me make this output value as okay. And this signal let me extend it to signal uh, value probably 9 from 4 yeah that should be fine yeah so once i have done that the segment line start is greater than this end time using okay light point so probably i can do one thing i can just select this and my y right will be uh, I wanted it to be 9 yeah so <clears throat> now I have my inputs and outputs are done you can have different combinations here as per your preference you can even go for more complicated one but right now I want to keep it simple so these are like uh, this is a kind of like test case you are building you can also do it manually using MATLAB script but uh, I wanted to show how to do it using signal builder so my uh, so if I go back to my equation so u and v are defined now we have to do y define y so most of the times if a person is doing modeling uh, he will concentrate on the plant model and a person is doing testing he will already know what is the expected output at different uh, for different inputs so i have taken this simple equation uh, intentionally so that we can compute the uh, output right away over here so when both are zero uh, then our output will be one so our output has to be one till this point which is till second point so let's let's do it that way so our output should be 1, so I will just reduce it to 1 and I will move it towards the right side, okay, so this, yeah, okay, so from time 0 till time 2, uh, our output is uh, 1 that we have set, we can verify by clicking on this and please, I will repeat, please make sure that you verify the points, uh, all the points over here because many times when you manually move these graphs on the signal builder it may be like you think it's one but it may be 1.1 or 0.99 so be careful with that okay okay so now i move back again to the model so now from time 2 till time 4 second my the second uh, input is still 0 but the first input has become 2 so my output will become 2 multiplied by 2 4 plus 1 5 so this part I think I should move till 5 my output should be 5 okay and this will continue until my type is this one 4 yeah I think it's still it is not one yeah so so now this is done now we will again check for our uh, third part of our uh, signals which is like both are active so my uh, first input is still 2 so 2 into 2 it will be 4 and second input is now 3 so 3 into 3 9 
9 plus 4 is around uh, 13 and plus 1 14 so here I have to set 14 so I can select this and go here and make it 14 so this goes 14 and this will go until uh, I think it is timestamp 6 so it goes until here now if it perfectly overlaps it should yeah now after 6 what we are seeing input 1 again becomes 0 and input 2 remains uh, some value so we go back to our equation and do the computation so I bring my model on the left hand side okay <clears throat> so first input is 0 after 6 uh, second is 3 so 3 into 3 9 plus 1 10 so this should become 10 uh, so this I will make it 10 and this will continue until uh, time uh, 9 second okay 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 and after 9 second what is happening is both both my inputs are becoming in 0 again and so 0 plus 0 and it will become 1 so only the constant value which is 1 should come here so my output should be 1 for this stage so I'll again select this the last one and I'll come to my y is and make it one yeah so now this is my output and these two are my input I'm pretty sure I'm, if we have done some way some mistake it will anyway will uh, it will uh, reflect in our uh, model when we are seeing the test results but for the time being we'll, I'll just continue with this uh, with this single builder I'll just close it but we can uh, open we'll open it again when when we complete our model yeah so now we have the single builder block and I don't think I need any more these two uh, inputs because inputs will be given from single builder now and I expand this and so I connect this I connect this and this will be my output and so what we have to do basically is we have to compare this output with this output so we'll uh, have a subtraction here done so if you can have something like uh, probably say minus plus so we will subtract the our output signal with the expected signal so we can know the difference between that so this is our final test results what we are getting here so they, now there are multiple options either you can export it to your workspace variable or like yeah whatever you want to do you can export it or you can add a scope to see the output directly in the simling itself or if you want to prepare a report out of it and excel sheet or something then the option is you can export this output uh, to the uh, matlab based workspace and then write a small script or something uh, which will convert that uh, workspace uh, data into an excel you can export and uh, using the xls uh, export commands and all those things to export it into excel format to present it to your team or whatever okay but here also in the scope also you get an export option if you are aware of so data logging option so that probably we can use right away so I will enable data logging, uh, scope data. So we'll we'll read the uh, scope data whatever we get here. So whatever uh, we visualize, we'll also get in the MATLAB workspace, and uh, yeah, we'll see you know, how we treat that. So it will it should come over here once we execute. Okay. So no more these things are done is what I think, and uh, yeah. So I think we can I can I can simulate the model and see what what happens as output. So I can just minimize and voila. So that was a perfect design. But many times uh, I, I, I have seen that I do some mistakes and yeah. So if you see, you are always getting zero. That means your output, expected output is exactly same as uh, your input. To see the difference, so let's what, what we can do is, let's go to our signal builder again. And uh, our third uh, signal, the Y is our expected output so for some reason let's do one thing let's instead of giving uh, this as a 10 is a perfect value let's reduce it to uh, 9.8 for some reason this is the expected output uh, and so the moment we do it and then I think probably I will just do a save and uh, close now if I run then I'm expecting some error in uh, over here somewhere for the uh, time uh, period when we have done that see well, and, and if you notice the difference is of uh, 0.2 because our output is 10 and our expected output in the signal builder is set as uh, 9.8 
So this way you can quickly detect okay that there is some error between the time 6 second to 9 second either in the, your plant model or either in the uh, testing environment which your tester or, or you have created. It may not be necessary that always your plant model is wrong. It may be sometimes that your testing test case itself is wrong. So you have to be sure that where the problem is. But yeah, this report is definitely showing that there is some problem somewhere in your model. Yeah, so that's all I think. So I will again go back and change it back to 10 so that we get a nice report. Uh, okay, I say. And uh, I simulate again to make sure everything is zero. Yeah, perfect. Now also, uh, uh, what we did was we were doing data login. So let's quickly check in our MATLAB workspace. Uh, yeah, so we get a scope data variable. What we used to export or uh, or log log our scope data into the workspace. So we can just quickly either you can double click and see the data sets. No, I didn't want to open the help. I didn't know why it opened it. I wanted to open this here. So it's exporting. And we can, I think we can double click the values. Yeah. So you can see all are these zeros values. So <coughs> left and first uh, column is your time. And second column is your data. So you can either write a, some a smaller MATLAB script to detect whether uh, if you if you don't want to do it uh, visually if you don't want to you, you want to make some kind of automated uh, uh, system test, testing system then you can write another uh, small MATLAB script where you can detect whether any of this uh, scope data second column is non-zero or not and if it's non-zero you can then uh, uh, highlight that in your report that is not zero so yeah. Uh, uh, I am pretty sure writing a script would be simple but in case you need help just uh, put in the comment section of my video and I will help you out with that as well. I will I'll, I'll, I'll put that how to write a simple MATLAB script to direct this part as non-zero. And I hope uh, yeah and the other ways you can visualize directly on the scope uh, display. Yeah that's all. So I hope this video is useful. This video explains in a very simple way. I have taken a very simple uh, plant model, very simple equation to solve. Of course in your real uh, professional life or in, in your university you won't get such a simple example. You make it complicated one but uh, designing a respective signal builder uh, with all this input and output signals is very important to test it uh, correctly. Uh, yeah, so I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in my comment section. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.